Nemo Radio is on the air. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C. Closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! Hey, it's John Nemo. Welcome back to another episode of Nemo Radio. And I just have to start with this. Ugh. <laughs> I, I just, it kills me. It kills me because this is a person I've tried to help. Um, I've done a lot of work with and the person's not taking my advice. And it's just painful to watch. Um, and what I'm talking about is email marketing. So getting these emails, and you know this if you're in business, if you have an email account, you're getting hammered with emails, right? Hammered with emails trying to sell you stuff and marketing. And I've got somebody that you know I've spent a lot of time with and tried to help and teach and train. And like a lot of people, they just have their own viewpoint and decision on how they should do emails and so their emails come to me and they still look like a newsletter and they actually don't have anything exciting in the subject line um it's very jargony it's very business laden and it's you know designed like a 1995 or 96 you know email marketing newsletter and it's just it just kills me because i know (laughs) That, you know, there's such a better way to do this. And it's very important. And I want to dive into this today. I'm actually going to share in a minute the audio from a new online training I put together about an online course I actually have called Email Marketing Machine. And I've put together all my best tips. And if you're on my email list, you know that I have a very unique and distinct style with how I do emails, right? Very conversational, a lot of entertainment, engagement. Um, funny animated GIFs, emojis, all kinds of stuff. And there's a reason for that because it works, right? So without further ado, here's what I want to do. I'm actually going to play for you the audio from this new webinar I put together sharing some of my favorite email marketing tips. And then I'll also put in the show notes a couple of links. One is a link to the actual video so you can see um, what I'm doing on screen and actually watch the full webinar if you like. And then I'll also put a link to the new course because I've got enrollment open for a very limited time for email marketing machine. And so if you just, if you listen to the audio and you're like, yup, I want email marketing tips from Nemo. This is exactly what I'm looking for. You can also click in the show notes, a link to go right to the course page and you'll see there's a timer there. Uh, Enrollment's only open for a a limited time. So you'll see that, but you also get 50% off. So (laughs) a couple good incentives to listen to today's training, really understand what goes into great email marketing, what makes it effective. And then also, if you want, you can watch the full training webinar. I'll give you a link there. Or if you just want to grab the course, which like all my online courses comes with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, I'll give you a link for that too. Just look in the show notes on your podcast app and you can pop it and grab it. So without further ado, let's dive into today's training. What we're going to do first is I've got two different trainings on email marketing that I want to show you. Um, Both of them come from a new course I've developed called Email Marketing Machine, which I'll talk about later. Um, But both of these are pulled from that course. So what I want to do is get the first part pulled up, really understanding what goes into email marketing, why it's so important, why it's so effective, and why you're going to want to use it. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to hop off camera start the training, um, and let's jump into this. So now I want to get into the topic of email marketing. This can really become the lifeblood of your business, and this is honestly my favorite form of content marketing. If you're on my email list, you know how much fun I have with the email messages that I'm sending out, and this has really proven to me over the years to be an incredible source of engagement and business and customer service and all kinds of different things. So I really want to walk through what goes into effective email marketing. That's what we're going to cover in this video. As far as setting up funnels and landing pages and the logistics and opt-ins and uh, autoresponder sequences and all those things, we'll get into that in section three when we talk about converting 
content into you know paying customers right now i want to talk about deploying email deploying it as part of your content marketing strategy and in using marketing emails what it makes them effective what makes people engage that's the key that we're going to focus on so i've been doing some research for this module just to see how popular is email right now today as i'm recording this and it's still amazingly strong you know who's using email in the u.s alone more than 85 percent of adults send to read email now that's great but this is what blew my doors off and, and this is so true i'm guilty of this you probably are too 99 percent of consumers check their personal email every day but here's the really good part some people and i'm probably higher than this check their email inbox 20 times or more per day think about that for a second your ideal prospects, your ideal customers, you know, 80 to 90 percent of them are using email daily. And of that 80 to 90 percent, they're checking their email constantly, like at least once an hour. So, again, the point of this is email is still more relevant than ever as a form of content marketing. So when we talk about the type of emails that get opened and engaged with and responded to, it really comes down to understanding the psychology of our inbox. I don't know about you, but you know when I check my email 20 times a day, I'm not excited or just rushing in to my iPhone to check and see who sent a newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> who sent a company update? Who sent industry news? You know, who sent something formal and stiff and boring and business jargon filled kind of text? I don't want that. What I want and what you want and what your ideal clients and customers want with the emails they receive is what I call info Entertainment. They want the information, the value, something that's going to help them, but they also want to be entertained. And so the psychology of a really effective marketing email is having a conversational tone, an entertaining kind of fun tone, the type of tone you take with your friends. When you send your friends email, you don't have all capitalized, formal, stiff subject lines, do you? You have quick conversational exchanges. Your subject line might be something like, did you see this question mark? Or can you believe it question mark? Or amazing. And that's it, right? It's very conversational. And this is where it starts with your email subject lines. Understanding using a lowercase conversational type phrase works really well to get people curious, to capture their attention. It's conversational and it fits on a mobile device. A couple short words, people as they're skimming and thumbing through their phone, their mobile device, write a long winded subject line is just gonna get cut off with the dreaded dot, dot, dot. You wanna have a short subject line that fits into a mobile device. So here's an example of some of my favorite email subject lines and I shared these back in video 10. I'll share this document again, but phrases like it just works or again, this is very conversational, caught me by surprise. What caught you by surprise? I'm curious, what was it? Or amazing moment, such a powerful photo. Now I'm curious, what was the photo of? And then of course, there's a story behind it. Or you can ask questions. Have you thought about this? Would you ever do this? Again, conversational tone, even just a single word or two, yikes, incredible. Did you hear the news? Bad idea, right? <laughs> like there's lots of uh, curiosity built into these subject lines that is hard to replicate if it says newsletter colon 2018 industry earnings stats like nobody wants to read that again to be successful with email marketing you've really got to have something that's personal and conversational so as I mentioned in section one, one of my favorite things to do when creating content is a personal story plus a business lesson. That works incredibly well for email marketing. Perfect example, as I was putting together this online course that you're watching right now, something happened. <laughs> I faced some serious adversity. It was late on a Friday night. I was trying to get a few more video modules recorded for you and for this training, and my computer crashed. I had a software glitch. I lost over 60 minutes of recording and editing. It was just devastating. And so here I am on a Friday night, just miserable, facing adversity, working on this online course. And so naturally, by now you know me, what's the first thing I thought? 
well, there's probably a lesson in this. There's probably a piece of content I can create. <laughs> I can create some content from my misery, right? So sure enough, I turned this in to a piece of content and I sent it out on Friday night. And what I said was in the subject line, let me highlight it for you. Subject line, I said a Friday night confession. And what I decided was I'm going to take a personal story of this adversity I ran into on a Friday night, and I'm going to turn it into a little confessional. I'm going to take you behind the scenes as someone on my email list to really engage with me. And so I started out with this quote that had come up earlier in the day. One of my kids was doing a school report on, you know, great quotes and famous uh, business people. And he used this quote from Steve Jobs. I'm convinced about half of what separates successful entrepreneurs from the not non-successful ones is pure perseverance. And so I started the email with that quote. And then I just talked about, you know, life has been kicking my rear end. We've had a lot of stuff going on with my family and different things that have taken me away from work. And, you know, my business coach, I was talking about, he said, you're not making excuses. You've got legitimate reasons why you're having a rough go right now. And, you know, as I'm talking about this, so I'm working on a Friday night, right? Sent the wife and kids out trying to get videos done for this new course. 60 minutes just got lost with a software glitch. You know, it's been one obstacle after another. And I, I get into the mindset element too. And, and I know this is something people can relate to. And this I'll also talk about in a minute, but mixing in practical with aspirational, really understanding mindset can play a huge role in connecting with your audience. So I'm talking about even me who, you know, hopefully some people at least view as successful creating these online courses, successful entrepreneur, right? Even I'm talking about, you know, Friday night confession, fear and anxiety are pounding on the door. Failure keeps cackling at me. Tell me how badly I'm blowing it. You know what? I'm not giving up. And this is where I pivot to my audience, right? I'm, I'm imbuing to them that I believe in you. Like you, I say, I will persevere. And then I say, like you, I will pick myself up, dust myself off, and get back into the arena. Because again, I want people who have this type of mindset of, I know it's not going to come easy. I know I'm going to get knocked down, but I'm going to get back up. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep battling. I want to be uncommon. I want to be unique. I want to succeed. I'm not afraid of adversity. So I'm calling to those people, flipping it back to them to motivate them. And then I say, right, remembering we're in this together. This is a big thing to build that trust and that empathy with your audience is I'm in the trenches with you. I'm an ally. I'm a mentor. I'm like Yoda. They're like Luke Skywalker. Let's get up. Let's keep moving. I'm in the trenches alongside you, cheering you on. Keep persevering. And I got so many messages back from this. So many people wrote back and said, this is exactly what I needed. I don't normally open emails on a Friday night. Your subject line caught my curiosity, right? A Friday night confession. What does he have to confess? You know, but then it was tapping into the mindset and the psychology of your audience conversational. Hey, I'm having struggles. I want you to know you're not alone if you're feeling this too. That's the way to create engaging email. Now, notice nowhere in this did I put a call to action, a sales message, anything like that. You've got to understand when you do email marketing, it's really relational. It's really building trust and relationship, knowing when is the time to sell, when is the time to ask for something, when is the time just to have a conversation, when is the time to tell a joke. You know, just like you build relationships in real life, you build relationships through email marketing. So if I look at my most recent batch of emails that I've been blasting out to my list, you know, this one is a sales email, but it's not designed in a pushy way. It's basically saying, hey, I'm going to be speaking at this big industry event. Do you want to join me? If you're coming, let me know. Let's meet up. And I disclose in there that, yes, here's my affiliate link to the event. If you sign up to go, uh, I get compensated, right? But that's a soft sell. Now, we've got uh, a straight training video using LinkedIn for lead generation. Generation, and again, a conversational topic. It was so exciting. And I'll break that email down for you in a minute. But just looking at the variety, then I'm talking about the overcoming adversity. No training, no sales pitch, just a Friday night confession. I'm in the trenches with you. This, you know, adversity I ran in, into tonight on Friday made me think of you. I know that like you, I'm going to keep persevering, etc. Then I've got uh, a couple of emails I wrote and split tested. These are sales emails. 
And these are based off of Mary Henderson, a student inside my LinkedIn Riches training, had some amazing success. And so I tell her story, right, the moment that changed everything and talking about her use of LinkedIn and her story. And then a life changing moment was the split test. I, I sometimes test different subject lines. And then I pivot to if you want to see how Mary did this and if you want to replicate her results, you know, then go on this webinar where I have my LinkedIn Riches online course. But that's the idea is mixing these in. So VR, virtual reality, uh, I used a story, again, a personal story plus an invite. So let me walk through a few of these to show you how it goes, how email psychology is. So let's take this as an example. It was so exciting. This is a straight training piece of content. All this is, is a link to a training video and a blog post on how to generate leads with LinkedIn. So I could have made the subject line training video, how to find leads using LinkedIn search and how to engage, right? <laughs> like that would have been so boring. So instead I turned it in to a conversational fun story. It was so exciting. What was right? And then I start with the first lines, right? My fingers couldn't fly fast enough along the keyboard. I right. I'm just painting a scene. Think of this like a movie or a screenplay, a grin flashed on my face as I imagined the reaction of my new LinkedIn connection. And then I say, here's what I sent him, right? And then it's a GIF, an animated image of my favorite college mascot, Goldie Gopher, crushing our arch rival, our nemesis, our enemy, Bucky Badger, you know, in a fake wrestling stunt, you know? <laughs> and I'm talking about, again, pivoting from the funny story. Trust me, there's a professional purpose behind this. And then I talk about how to engage on LinkedIn. And then in this case, for my list of people, I'm basically bringing you over and saying, if you want to see how I went through this, go over here to my blog and video, and you can watch and see how to use LinkedIn for lead generation. Now, I used this title because when I published this video on YouTube, I wanted a very practical how-to title, so using LinkedIn for lead generation. And then in this video, I walk through on a screen recording, again, content marketing, Here's how to use LinkedIn for lead generation. Here's how I'm going in, looking at people's profiles, personalizing my messages. Here's how to do one-on-one -on -one marketing with LinkedIn, okay? And at the bottom, of course, I've got a call to action. I'm always connecting the content, go over, get on my webinar. But the whole point was I delivered that with a fun infotainment type email, conversational, chatty, kind of funny, putting some goofy images, right? And I say, in case you're from Wisconsin and a fan of that school, you know, here's a parting shot, right? And that's our mascot throwing a snowball on welcome to Wisconsin, as it should be, right? And again, one more quick example of this, always looking for a personal story plus a business lesson. So I took my kids to the mall, and they went to this virtual reality arcade. You can see it here where this is the Jurassic Park ride. So you sit in this thing that looks like a Jeep. You put on this virtual reality headset and then dinosaurs are chasing you, right? And the, the chairs are moving and wind blows from a fan and it feels real, okay? I said it was terrifying conversational, all lowercase, just like I would send to a friend. Someone is going to see that subject line and say, what was terrifying? What happened? Are you okay? Did you see a ghost, right? And so I start again with storytelling. The earth shook. My son screamed in terror at what was approaching. Remember, these first few lines are critical because on a mobile device, when you see a preview of an email and on most desktop clients too, you only see the subject line and the first few lines of an email. So you really have got to earn their curiosity to click through. That's why the subject line and then the first couple lines of your email are so important because again, that lures people into the story. Okay, the earth shook. My son screamed in terror. Whoa, what was happening, right? The roar of the dinosaur was deafening. It looked like there was no way out. And then I pivot to, and then the ride stopped, right? The boys were at a virtual reality place. This is what it looked like. Because again, I'm bringing images in uh, to help tell the story. And herein lies the lesson. I pivot to the business lesson. And again, it's from a book on mindset. And so I'm just talking again about how's your mindset? Are you working on this? Are you, you know, taking control of your thoughts? thoughts and making sure that they don't impact you negatively with business. But there's another example of a simple way to take a personal story plus a business lesson, turn it into an email that gets opened and engaged with. 
So the other key element of successful email marketing, along with conversational and infotainment, that those approaches, you also want to share the journey. You really want to help people feel like you are in the trenches too, or you have walked in their shoes. This is very, very important. People will not buy from you if they don't feel like you get their world, if they don't feel like you understand what it is like or what it was like. That's so important to share your story of, I was once in your shoes, I once had these challenges, here's the obstacles I overcame, I want to show you how to do the same thing. Remember that hero's journey, those three simple phrases, what it was like, what happened, and what it's like now. If you can take those three phrases and integrate those into your email marketing, you're going to have a lot of success connecting and engaging with your audience. People want you to be relatable. They want to know that you've had tough times. Being transparent, being authentic, sharing your journey, obstacles overcome, that's the stuff that great email is made of. So as an example, when I get someone new onto my LinkedIn Riches email list, where I eventually want to sell them my LinkedIn Riches online training course, I start with a subject line, my big secret, my big LinkedIn secret. But look where I'm starting with transparency. Transparency. Back in 2012, I was terrified. I was also excited. And I talk about my hero's journey. I just quit my safe six figure day job to start a new business from scratch. I had, and this is a true story, by the way, I had one client, enough money for 30 days, and my wife was at home with our three young boys, right? That would be the terrified part. I'm telling you, if you're a solopreneur, a business coach, a consultant, a small business owner, I've been in your shoes. Like I know what it's like to leave behind the corporate world, the safe day job and start your own business. And I say, I also had a plan, right? And then I talk about, you know, what it was like. I was terrified, right? What happened was I had a plan and within 90 days, I generated six figures in revenue, all of it from LinkedIn, right? That was what happened. And then what it's like now, you know, I've got all this freedom and things like that, but I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. I believe in you. It's possible. This is a formula that you can replicate. It's easier than you think. And I pivot back to the audience. What's your why? I want to get into your emotional headspace. What, you know, if you can relate to this, quitting your day job, wanting more freedom, tell me what it is, right? Why do you do what you do? And again, I like to use images to humanize myself. So here I am back around 2012, coming home from that soul sucking, draining day job to my three young boys and thinking, man, I got to be home more. I don't want to miss their childhood. And now one of them's in high school, right? Like they've grown up so fast the past six years. And this is the idea sharing the journey. I didn't start as some LinkedIn guru with all the answers and this, you know, successful course and best selling book. Like I started out terrified. I started out with one client and enough money for 30 days. That's me. That's the truth of my journey. And the beautiful thing is, People, when you start them there, they go, oh, okay, you started there and now you're here. I believe I can follow your footsteps and follow your path and do the same thing. So I'll get into this more when we get into sales funnels and autoresponders and email sequences. But even if you just look through the LinkedIn Rich's emails, I'm mixing in case studies of people that are having success just like you, right? Just like me. I'm talking about tips like here's how to create a profile, just straightforward and practical, how to go viral on LinkedIn, you know, a mega blog where I share a bunch of information, uh, more case studies you know, how to get celebrities to endorse you, right? Then some mindset things, a Rick Warren mindset story. Um, another thing about how to find new leads in 14 seconds or less, inviting to my sales webinar, right? Pivoting over to more tips with advanced searches, Another mindset thing about Babe Ruth, another thing about the importance of emotion, you know, then pivoting back to inviting people again to a sales webinar, mixing in the practical, the aspirational and the emotional. That's the key with email marketing. You're entertaining people, you're delivering information, you're delivering value, you're delivering quick wins that they can utilize and do things with, but you're also building a relationship. They start to feel like they really know you. They know your life, they know your passions, they know your hobbies, they know your journey. Where did you come from? What were the things that shaped you into where you're at now? And why are you so passionate about the things you are now? Remember, we're dealing with human beings. We're dealing with relational creatures. So we really want to focus on that in our email marketing. 
take a close look at this video. Watch it again. Pay attention to the notes. Pay attention to the attachments that go with this video, the subject lines, some of the sample emails. Get a feeling for those tones that I use, the conversational, the infotainment, the personal story, plus a business lesson, pivoting into what's in it for the audience, mixing in the practical and the aspirational. All of these elements are what go into successful email marketing. And the more you do it, the more people are going to engage and the more email really does become the lifeblood of your business. So with that said, I leave you to it. Soak in some of these examples. Start testing it out. Start writing some emails like this. And when you're ready, let's move on to the next video. All right, all right. So I need to know, I'm back on air here. I pulled that from my email marketing made easy course. And what I want to know is, do you want more? If you want more email training right here, right now, type yes in the comments. I need to know I'm with my people. This one's for you, Kurt. Glory! Do you want more? Who wants more? Type yes in the comments if you want more. Do you want more email training? Because I hope you're finding this helpful. I hope you're seeing what is possible when you really dive in and understand how to deploy email. Because it is such a critical component to doing well, to successfully marketing. All right, so here they come. Sharon, yes. Frederick, yes. Zira, yes. Kurt says, glory. (laughs) Juliet, yes. Ken says, of course. All right, good, good, good. I want to make sure I didn't lose you here during the training. All right, Marco says, yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it, Marco and Finland, you're with me. All right, so what I'm going to do, we are your people, we need more. (laughs) Thank you, Lenny, I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in another video again, and I'll tell you about the full course at the end here, but this is from uh, an online training course I put together called Email Marketing Machine. So I want to play one more video from that right now to kind of help you take an even deeper dive into this topic, into really breaking down email even more. So here we go. I'm going to hop off camera again, dive into some more training. Hey, it's John Nemo. So I thought I would show you something interesting, a little bit of how the sausage is made, (laughs) the digital sausage. So what I did, uh, I just recorded and uploaded a new podcast episode. And I wanted to walk you through a little bit of the mindset and the techniques that go into then promoting that content, kind of building out that content funnel. Because of course, obviously, you know, people who subscribe to the podcast, uh, Nemo Radio here in the iTunes store and everywhere else, you know, they're going to automatically have the podcast just pop into their feed when it refreshes. So it's getting delivered that way. But I also want to share the podcast with my larger audience, with people that maybe haven't listened yet or haven't subscribed to the podcast. So what I'm going to walk you through right now is how I do the email marketing for a piece of content. Because I know that's a question I get all the time is, hey, I like your marketing emails. How do you do them? What's the thought process? So right now I'm inside Entreport, which is my email marketing software that I use, and I'm going to send out a blast message. And what you can see, you know, at the top, I have the theme of the email and then who it's from, all that stuff. The subject line, obviously, I always want to put a lot of thought into. And in this one, I'm going to say, you know, a curiosity kind of play. The big secret experts aren't telling you. And the two things I want to really illustrate with a good email marketing approach is you've got to tie together the subject line, which is right here, and the first sentence or two. Okay, Uh, you really want to just suck people in so that they open the note. Right. You you know, (laughs) you can't expect people to get excited about a subject line that just said new podcast episode. Right. Or listen now. Right. It has to be like curiosity invoking. Well, what is the big secret that these you know, and I'm putting quotes around experts like the the intonation here is. What are these so-called experts not telling you, right? And then with the first line, I'm really trying to to pull people in. I first discovered it back in 1997. It's helped dictate all my success as a result. Ooh, okay. So now I feel like we're moving into, you know, the secret territory. (laughs) Remember that from like a decade or two ago? The secret, the secret. Like, okay, it's not that. It's not hocus pocus. Um, And then I talk, I pivot into, you know, why aren't more people sharing it? And then I quickly move into I'll unpack the secret and how it impacts your business on this episode of Nemo Radio, which is the podcast. And then what I do is I've noticed I get more clicks if I make it very clear in the hyperlink what the call to action is. So I use words like listen 
or I use words like if it's a blog post, instead of the word listen, I'd say read. Or if it's a webinar or a training video, I would say watch. Like put a little all capital word in there. That's a call to action. Listen, read, watch so they know what to do, right? And then obviously the text is hyperlinked and it's following, it's kind of tying into the subject line. The the big secret experts aren't telling you, listen, here's the big secret, right? And then I just kind of end with one more line. I haven't even finished the email yet, so <laughs> I haven't sent it yet. Um, and then I do a little signature, you know, John Nemo, whatever it is. Okay, but here's the other thing that goes into email marketing that I don't know how many people check this. So I email myself a copy. You can send a test email here in Entreport, send a test email to your you know, email address, whatever. And then what I do is I look at it on my iPhone. So let me... This is actually what it looks like on my iPhone here, okay? So you can see the big secret experts aren't telling you. And you can see I've sent it to myself several times over the last few minutes. And the reason is I'm really checking to see two things. One is, does this subject line fit on one line on a standard iPhone mobile device? And then also, is the first sentence right here you know, readable and does it draw people in? And so you can see with the earlier versions of this, You know, I first discovered it back in 19, the very bottom one, and it's helped dictate blah, 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 but it kind of runs out of room. And the second one, I first discovered it in 1997, it's helped dictate all of my professional success as a blah, 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 blah. So like what I wanted to do was shorten, 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 trim, trim, trim. So now the first sentence, I first discovered it back in 1997, and it's helped dictate all of my success as a result. That's a strong sentence. If you combine the subject line and that first sentence, that's going to intrigue people to say, okay, what is it? It's over 20 years ago, he discovered this secret. It's something that experts aren't sharing with me. What is it, right? And so that's the key to really getting people on the email marketing side to open it up. Send it to yourself as a test email and look at it on your mobile device. This is the inbox on my iPhone. So I can see, you know, sending multiple versions with changing the first sentence around Am I going to get sucked in as a reader with this headline and the first sentence? If not, I might delete it or pass on or come back to it later. So you cannot afford a lot of exposition, a lot of, you know, talking and and setting stuff up. Just get right to the chase. Just like a good book, just like the opening sentence of a great article or a great book, they suck you in with some kind of story or some kind of scenario or some kind of situation. And in this case, I first discovered it back in 1997. I feel like I'm Indiana Jones, right? Like, what is it? What did you uncover? You know, so that's the idea behind this. And then once I get all this queued up, then I'll send it out. Um, but this is an idea of repurposing the content. And then the landing page where I say, listen, the other thing with podcast marketing that I've found is as I send people to this landing page and you can see it's got different options. The way that podcasts work is some people don't want to listen to it on my website, right? So I've got a whole player here with all the different episodes. You can go through, you can play them right on the site, et cetera, et cetera. Some people like to do that and some people will play it right on the site. Other people would rather just click and have it redirect to their iTunes app or their Stitcher app or SoundCloud, right? And what I want to do right away is give people options, especially on their mobile phone, of their preferred, you know, way to consume a podcast. So what I do with my website software... I just use WordPress and Optimize Press. I put up a logo, you know, the iTunes or the Stitcher or the SoundCloud logo, and I make it clickable. I make it a hyperlink so that if you click on this logo, it redirects you to my iTunes URL for the podcast. Same with Stitcher, same with SoundCloud. SoundCloud. But, right but right below that, of course, I- and actually I'm going to cut myself off. <laughs> I'm tired of that guy. What is he? Who does he think he is interrupting me? Wait, that was me. Okay, uh, but I want to cut myself off because I know that video kind of just wraps up more with some podcasting things and tips and episode links. But I really wanted to share another lesson of the thought process with email because I think that's so critical. And I want to show you one more example in real time of what this looks like. So getting outside of myself and actually sharing a client story. So let me do that. All right, so you should see my screen right now. This is Steph Perry. This is a great example of an email where, again, everyone has stories. You have stories in your life. What we want to do is use that magic formula for emails of personal story plus business lesson 
is the content. So for her, she had a story about when she went skydiving, right? And she has photos of it and everything else. And I'm like, that's perfect. Let's, that's a great story. Let's tie it to a business lesson. So the email starts with, I was terrified, right? What were you scared of? Heart was beating through my chest. The wind was whipping my hair into a frenzy, right? It's a story. It's a scene. Like people are now kind of almost watching in their mind's eye. I gulped down air and tried to avoid looking down. It was 10,000 feet up, right? No turning back. I jumped. And so now you get into, oh, this is what business can be like. We pivot into the business lesson. It's like jumping out of a plane, right? Now she's moving into three lessons, three unmovable things you've got to do in order to grow your business, right? You're going to be scared and then talking through that. And so she's sharing these lessons plus authentic photos. So whenever you can use photos of yourself, authentic, real you in your email, do that, right? I do a lot of that in your staff. Again, like you're going to have to take risks and this is her, this isn't clip art or stock art, right? And so even using an emoji here to kind of be able to, you know, go through it all. And there again, so this is the idea with emails, right? Is being able to have it be authentic and tell a story, but it's also a business lesson. And then again, you can tie into um, being able to go and say, hey, click here to tell me, you know, do the next thing, whatever it is, sign up, whatever. So again, uh, here's another story. He had me walk across hot coals. What? Right? When I was first starting, uh, you know, I'm telling a story. The boss was obsessed, right? He was a total Tony Robbins thing, <laughs> had us walk across hot coals, blah, blah, blah. So, like, find those stories in your own situation and turn those into emails. And marry the personal story to a business lesson, and that's where things get really, really, really good. One of my favorite things, I'm just going to show an Entreport account here. This may be one of our clients or mine. I can't tell. Okay. So, one of the things I love doing, and why email marketing is so valuable is you can do these different campaigns. And this is a little software tool with Entreport where you can basically have these kind of decision trees. And what I mean is the email marketing software today, I know for sure Entreport does this. There's also Active Campaign and Constant Contact and all the other ones. But anyway, I use Entreport. You can have these decision trees. So do they click a link in this email? Yes or no? If they click yes, do this. If they click no, do this, right? And so you can build these automated campaigns where you keep delivering emails based on the action they take. So I could even have a whole email sequence that says, hey, do you want more LinkedIn tips? Click this link to get more LinkedIn tips. And then it would start delivering you automated LinkedIn emails. Or if you said, no, I'd rather not hear that. I'd rather have webinars. Again, move people through the decision tree. The whole idea with email marketing and kind of using these different campaigns is really understanding you've got this ability now to help people kind of choose their own adventure so they can decide, you know, this is what I want more of or less of from you. So if you've enjoyed today's training, I cannot wait for you to get access to the full online course, Email Marketing Machine. And for a very limited time, you're going to have an opportunity to get lifetime access to the entire program for a very limited time for this price. Only $147, the whole enchilada. So let me show you everything inside here. We're going to get into the secret psychology behind irresistible emails, right? The one shift that ensures your emails are always engaging. I'm going to give you all kinds of copy and paste templates, subject lines. I'm going to walk you through landing page and email sequences, sales funnels that you can use with email, training videos, swipe files. Let me show you inside the course. So again, once you sign up, you're going to get access to the entire course immediately on demand here in Thinkific. You can see it's got different sections. So strategies and systems, eight different trainings there. Then we've got swipe files. So you literally can just copy and paste and fill in the blank with all my favorite subject lines actual emails that you can use yourself, where again, I've written out the email for you. It's got the subject line, it's got a story, and then you basically can fill in the blank at the bottom with your content, right? Just linking to whatever you wanna use. These are some of my highest performing, best converting emails, and you get access to them. Like literally, you can just copy and paste them. So you can copy and paste these, right? 13 words that can change your life. It's a story. 
Again, it leads to a call to action, which you just fill in the blank with a link to your offer, your webinar, your ebook, whatever it is. And again, you get all of these, right? And I'm constantly updating and adding here to the swipe files with my best emails. You're going to get case studies and interviews with how Chris Brogan uses emails. So I've got a whole interview with Chris Brogan, who's phenomenal, right? Um, again, Amy Porterfield, a deep dive with her and how she uses emails. So Again, not just my material, but also how the best in the business are using emails. You're going to get extra bonus trainings and materials for my content marketing machine course. And we're going to dive in and really give you simple strategies. So again, exact kind of strategies, fill in the blank. You'll have videos you can watch where I'm literally going to walk you through step by step. This is what you do. This is the order you do it in, right? How you're going to be able to come through. You're going to get the exact training that you need. So it's going to be a combination of videos, PDFs, copy and paste, fill in the blank. All of it is here for you and all of it for a very limited time. Now you should see a timer somewhere on this page. It might be here in the bottom corner. It might be across the middle. But once that timer hits zero, enrollment closes and this offer is gone, right? So the special pricing, $147 getting lifetime access, no yearly fees, none of that. All of that will expire. Uh, I only have enrollment open for the, a limited time. And that, again, you'll see a timer somewhere on here. <laughs> I'm not sure where it'll be depending on your device. But once that hits zero, the opportunity to get this course goes away. It evaporates. And again, all of this comes with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. There's no hassles. There's no homework. There's no drama. You get immediate access to the entire course here. You get to go through it. You get to implement it. And if you're not happy for any reason, you just email me. I'll send you a full refund. There's no drama, none of that stuff. So again, make sure that you get in and get this before the timer hits zero. This is a special offer. Enrollment does close. You can't just get this anytime you want, and you certainly cannot get it for this price um, normally. So again, just fill in your contact info right here. Uh, you can pick your payment information, a card or PayPal, and then just hit place order now at the bottom, and you'll be set. You'll be in. You'll get an email that will get you logged in here to get all of the training right away. Again, you can go in and immediately start emailing. Like You can literally go in and copy my Babe Ruth email, right? And this is a, a great business lesson. Where again, you just come in, you link to your content, it's done, right? And I'm also going to show you, obviously, how to build out, you know, different funnels and strategies and going through, right, how to put all this together so that it's automated and it makes it easy for you to sell using email and to get people engaged. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for you to get your hands on this.